What is going on guys? It's once again Legacy Killer HD are back today bringing you guys more of the best and worst of Black Ops 2 series that started back in October and today we're continuing on and we're going through the best sniper class in Black Ops 2. Uh, this is kind of a toughy, you know, toughy thing to do because of it depends really on how you play in Black Ops 2. I mean, if you're running to the center points of the maps and stuff, maybe if you're like slums, if you're running straight to B Dom, I mean, if you're playing slums and it's domination and you're running straight to B, that's going to be a problem because you need to avoid these high amount of high areas which people tend to go to. You need to kind of go to vantage areas and stay away. I mean, this is just a personal opinion, honestly. I mean, if you want to get the best KD ratio, I personally think you need to be an observer. You need to stay away and try to observe the situations and then take the people out. So uh, now down to the class, I've been wasting enough time. And I also will have some gameplay of this uh, the sniper class. I always promise to have that and I will. So uh, here we are, the DSR-50. That is my personally my favorite sniper rifle and I think it's the most useful sniper rifle in Black Ops 2. I have FMJ and Ballistic CPU. Ballistic CPU mainly because I don't like the weapon sway that it comes with take that off and oh, I mean put that on it really is helpful and FMJ I just want to make sure it's not like a two-shot kill I want to confirm it and make sure it's a one-shot kill with the secondary the B23R with FMJ on it I think it's very important because if you're running around and you I mean say if you're running around and you hear somebody creeping behind you you want to take out that handgun and blast them away and uh, that's just the easiest thing and FMJ also makes it a lot easier to kill them so now down to the perks, I have perk 1 greed on, uh, I have hardline and flak jacket, personally hardline is the only, the only reason why I have hardline is because I'm going for those score streaks. I mean if you're not going for score streaks, I would personally just take off the hardline and put either lightweight or ghost on there. Ghost will, I mean, it, it'll make sure that UAVs don't track you and I think that's a very important thing, but it just depends honestly if you want to be uh, seen on the map or not. Uh, and lightweight, that can also be very helpful. Uh, I'm, everybody knows what lightweight is. If you don't, well, I'll tell you in the comments if you need me to let you know. <laughs> anyway, now down to perk number two, toughness. Uh, you know, toughness, once again, it's not something that you really need. I mean, if you're getting shot at and you flinch less, that could be very helpful. Personally, that was just something I threw on. You can also just take that off if you want, put something in the lethal ta uh, tactical area. Uh, and if you're going to do that, I'd make sure you put like a bouncing Betty or a shock charge so if you're maybe camping you not I'm not really saying you should camp but if you are camping so if somebody's trying to run up behind you obviously you can get an indication before they get to you uh, and then perk number three the newest uh, perk which is actually very very helpful dexterity uh, dexterity it, it helps you aim faster after spraying so if you're running around and it also helps you uh, mantle and climb faster just you know and if you're running around and you're trying to quick scope and stuff, this is probably going to be the number one thing you're going to want to have. And okay, so guys, uh, that's just about the class, you know, really fast. Talked about it really fast. Uh, personally, I I've had a great time with this class. I mean, it really just depends on your playing style. If you're going to run down into areas where a lot a lot of people are going to be using SMGs and shotguns, you're going to want to avoid it. I mean, say for hijack, the gameplay that you guys are seeing. Uh, I, I should have probably been going to the Vantage areas. I don't think I really did, but uh, I think that's really a smart thing to do, go to Vantage areas. But you also will have a lot of competition because a lot of uh, the guys with the maybe the assault rifles, the SMGs, the shotguns, they're going to be looking at you up there and trying to get you out of, uh, get you out of that area. So that's just a very big thing. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to waste any more time, and I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay if it is still up. All I do ask, guys, is please comment, rate, and subscribe if you... Can and I am Legacy Coach D and I am out.